first chapter of Mark. Just want to make sure everybody is there. I don't want to start reading. You ain't there. When you're standing, I know you're there because you give reverence to God's word. In the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets, behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the, the way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. And just to talk about the prophets of old, I'm gonna go to Malachi real quick. Uh, Malachi 3, one says, behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. I want to speak from the subject, Black Lives Matter. He had an assignment from birth. And his job was to preach the coming of the Lord. Now, to preach the coming of the Lord means that John would not have the same comfortable lifestyle that everyone else has. Why? Because he has an assignment. And so when you are serious about God's call, you don't have the luxury of doing you. All right. All right. I hear all the time people, you know, I, you know, I, I ain't Jesus. Well, if, if, if you are a born-again believer, if you are a preacher of the gospel, you may not be Jesus, but you better have Jesus in you. Right. And if you got him in you, it can't be about us. If it's about us, we neglect the call. Can you imagine John the Baptist coming and not making the way for Jesus who was coming? John could have said, man, I'm not going in no wilderness. I'm going to put on some clothes. I'm going to have me a wife. I'm going to have all these nice things. But he did not have an option. When the call comes to you, you don't have the option of being comfortable. When Jesus came, can you point to a time in his life where he was comfortable? He didn't come for himself, he came for us. And so when you come for somebody, you will forego some of the comforts that you would rather have so that others can achieve what you need for them to achieve by you being who you're supposed to be. So John found himself in the wilderness, and I find myself in the wilderness as well. I would love to preach your souls happy. <laughs> I would love to preach a message that gives you that warm and fuzzy kind of feeling. I want you to be excited about coming through the doors and wondering what season we're going to be in, what transition we're going to be in, how much God is going to prosper us, or how great I, you know, how blessed and how, all those things I would love to give you like your TV preachers do. That have an everlasting source of revenue and income coming in. Churches are packed beyond measure but they ain't saying nothing because they're more worried about their bottom line than Jesus bottom line and you say well how, how, how can you say that because I read God's word and I look at the content of what's being put out and it's more geared to a worldly atmosphere than a spiritual awakening. 
if John is the precursor and we are the sequel, then that means that if you have been the called of God, then before you was even created in your mother's womb, God was forming a purpose in us. That's why I say all the time that my purpose is what? Is bigger than my circumstances. And so if I am the called of God and, 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 and I, I have to look at myself and I have to look at my walk and I have to figure out how I'm going to navigate this world with all this stuff happening. Racial unrest. The killing of, of, of black men by white officers or, or white citizens. I have to pay attention to all those things because Black Lives Matter movement is dealing with those things. It's dealing with the stuff that I should be angry about. That I should be mad, that I should be upset, and I should immediately hop aboard. But the problem is, I don't have the luxury of getting into my feelings. Y'all gotta hear me. 